Hello, I'm KHU 11 meteorologist Chris Ramirez, and it is cedar fever season, and it's something that we usually suffer here in southeast Texas during this time of the year. It starts in December, usually peaks around late January, early February, and we've seen those high levels of cedar pollen here across the Houston area. So what usually happens is that that cedar pollen is from the ash juniper tree that's currently situated. They're all in the Texas Hill Country west of the I-35 corridor. We have the passages of these cold fronts that sweep through Texas and it actually blows all of that cedar into the Houston area during this time of the year. And that's why we see the higher levels of that during the early days of February and into March. And so deep south Texas, even the Houston area suffering from cedar fever. And what usually happens is that this illness could actually be confused from other illnesses such as COVID-19 or the flu. And this is from the Texas A&M Forest Service. This is the symptoms of the similarities of the symptoms between cedar fever and COVID-19. Usually you get fevers and aches, aches and pains, sore throat, runny nose, fatigue, and loss of smell. Just keep an eye on those symptoms to maybe not confuse it with other symptoms, but always get the advice from your primary care physician regarding this, uh, the symptoms and how to treat it. But usually during our morning newscast, you see us showing the allergen index and pay attention to these numbers. We have high tree pollen that's currently in the picture. This is from Friday, February 7th. Of course, we get this data from the city of Houston Health Department. They only released the data during the week. Today is Saturday, February 8th, and we had levels at 125 yesterday. And what usually what that means is that when you see those numbers, that is measured in the number of pollen per cubic meter of air. So you see it in the range between 90 and uh, 1,499, which is showing heavy cedar pollen here across our area as we deal with these cold fronts. And unfortunately, we have more cold fronts on the way for this next week. We are expecting the passage of a cold front arriving tomorrow, Super Bowl Sunday. That's gonna bring some showers to our area. But this front's going to stall over us as we head into Sunday, keeping that rain chance there. It's going to be very isolated in nature, but as that front moves northward and southward, that usually is going to keep the rain chances there at least through Tuesday as this front stalls over our area across the across our area for this next few days. And then by Wednesday, we have another disturbance on the way. Look at that cold front. Where was I pointing? I was pointing in the Texas Hill Country. It's probably going to bring even more of that cedar pollen into southeast Texas by the middle of the week. So definitely tree pollen season is amongst us. And this is something that we suffer from here across the Houston area, not just us, even the entire state of Texas in close proximity of the hill country usually suffers from this, uh, these types of symptoms and the cedar pollen. So for the next seven days, high temps in the 80s, we're going to be a bit cooler. So when you see a cold front on the way during this time of the year, just keep in mind that we could see higher levels of pollen moving into the Houston area. We do have some rain chances. Rain chances actually do help that all that dispersed pollen to fall to the surface. But as we head into the next seven days, we are expecting the arrival of a couple of fronts and disturbances that very well could bring us some more pollen our way, as well as some rain chances in an unsettled weather pattern expected through much of next week. And as always, you can get the latest weather forecast on KHU.com and on the KHU 11 app.